Hello, students. Today we're going to talk about finding slope from a table and two points. Remember to take notes while you're watching this video. Your notes will be a grade. So, if we're finding slope from a table, so we have this table and we're going to find the slope of it. Well, the first thing we need to do is find the change in y over the change in x. So we need to figure out, how did I go from 2 to negative 3? Well, I subtracted 5. How did I go from negative 3 to negative 8? Again, I minus 5. And how did I go from negative 8 to negative 13? Again, I subtracted 5. Then we have to look over here and we look at our x's and we do the same thing. How did I go from negative 5 to 5? I added 10. And then how did I go from 5 to 15? I added 10. And how did I go from 15 to 25? I added 10. So once I do that, the formula for slope from a table is change in y over change in x. This triangle right here means change in. So change. Again, sorry about the handwriting. Change in. Okay, so that's what that triangle means. So my change in y is negative 5, and my change in x is a positive 10. So it's negative 5 divided by 10. And then remember, reduce fractions to the lowest term. So if we do uh, 5 divided by 10, well, it would become m equals negative 1 half. Also, remember, if one part of the fraction is negative, the whole fraction is negative. Okay? And slope, which is your m, must be a fraction. Do not change into a decimal. Do not change it to a decimal. It must be a fraction. Okay? So our slope for the table is negative one half. Okay? Now, let's look at the slope formula. The slope formula, which is, if you'll notice, this is different, and this is whenever you have two points. You use this formula right here. It's m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, these numbers have nothing. We do not use these numbers for the problem. What they tell us is this is saying my second y, I subtract it from my first y. And the same down here. My second x, I subtract from my first x. Okay, so let's look at an example. So, we're going to find the slope from a table using two points. So, if I'm given this table, I can find the slope by using two points. Now, I may choose any two points I would like. Okay, you can pick any two points you, you wish. I'm going to choose negative 5, 2. So, I'm going to choose this first one. And then I'm going to choose 15, negative 8. So those are the two points I chose, but I could have choose any point. Now, remember an ordered pair is x, comma, y. So this is going to be x1 because this is my first x, and this is going to be y1 because that's my first y. And then this is x2 because it's my second x, and this is y2 because it's my second y. Now we're going to use the slope formula. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and solve. So wherever y2 is, we're going to substitute. So where y2 is, I substituted a negative 8. Where y1 was, I substituted a 2. Where x2 was, I put 15. And where x1 was, I put a negative 5. Notice that I put negative 5 in parentheses because I'm subtracting a negative number. So I need that in parentheses. 
And remember, two negatives make a positive. So this is actually going to be 15 plus 5. Okay? So now, just subtract them out. Subtract your top and subtract your bottom. So I have negative 8 minus 2, which is going to give me a negative 10. And then I have 15 plus 5, which is going to give me 20. Again, I must reduce my fraction to the lowest term. So when I reduce negative 10 divided by 20, I get negative 1 half. If you notice, this was the same table as the first example, but I did rate of change in the first example. Here I just chose two points and I still got the same answer. So you can use either method you like, whether you want to do the rate of change, which is the change in y divided by the change in x, or you want to pick two points and do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay. So now let's just say that we have two points, okay, and we don't have a table. Well, then we're going to use the slope formula. So we need to label our x and our y. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. So now I'm going to plug them into my slope formula. Have y2, which is going to be negative 20, minus y1, which is 12, divided by x2, which is negative 3, minus x1, which is 7. And then I'm just going to subtract them. Negative 20 minus 12 is negative 32. Negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10. Remember, whenever you have two negative numbers divided by each other, they make a positive. So negative divided by negative is a positive. And then 32 divided by 10, well, you find what number goes into both of those, which is 2. 2 goes into 30 time, 32 times. 2 goes into 32 16 times. And 2 goes into 10 5 times. So my slope in this example is 16 divided by 5. Okay. Please make sure that you take very good notes. Tomorrow um, I will come around to grade them and you will also um, be using these notes for our class activity. Okay, have a wonderful night. Adios. Oh, again, remember slope must be a fraction. Do not change it to a decimal. Now adios. Goodbye.